Is everyone really making 115k plus a year? I'm 33. Went to school for many years at a top world rank university and are at 66k a year. No kids. Not married and can't afford anything. One check is car payment and rent. Second check is everything else. Zero dollars left at the end or in the negative. I work with some younger people and it seems they think 90k is not that much a year. They're aiming for early 100s. Am I crazy to think that this is not the norm? I know many people not making close to that and as I look for a new job I'm seeing the wages at less than what I get paid. Pre-COVID I used to think $70,000 was a salary that I could live comfortably on without being stressed about bills. But, if you look at the price of almost anything, it seems to have raised by nearly 33% in the past three years. Look at the price of a fast food burger, a 20 ounces soda from a grocery store, or a car. Therefore, nowadays, I would probably say that I wouldn't feel very comfortable with being able to handle my bills without stress until I was making at least $100,000 per year. Half the U.S. population is making $50,000 or less. So no that's not the norm. I haven't even hit 40k yet. Edit to add because people are getting lost on the metrics instead of focusing on people are massively underpaid part https slash slash www.ssa.gov slash cgibbon slash netcomp.cgi year equals 2021 lawyer with 10 years experience 85k i live in a high cost of living area and make about forty-three thousand dollars per year and it's the most i've ever made in my entire life we're in the red almost every month everyone i know is on the verge of homelessness making less than half that is everyone really making 115k plus a year no one hundred fifteen thousand dollars is the 70th percentile of u.s household incomes 86th percentile for individual income 66 k a year this is the 47th percentile of household income and 67th for individual. This does vary by state and it's possible your specific area has higher costs or different wages. But, generally, it sounds like the folks you're talking to have unrealistic expectations. At $66,000 a year I can confidently tell you you are making more than the average American. I make about $30,000 a year and so does my wife. We both work part-time and watch our kids the rest of the time. We're pretty comfortable. The amount of work we'd have to do to earn more just seems like a waste of time. I have a lot of stuff I like to do that's not working. I live in MCOL area. The median salary is $60,000 which is what I make if I don't work any overtime. I usually work OT every week since I WFH and it's easy work. My husband makes more than double. His base salary is double but he travels out of town often and gets paid even more for those trips. So he makes more than double my salary. I wouldn't be able to afford to live on my own either. My mortgage is $2,100. My car payment was $675 but it's paid off now but I would still barely have any money left for food or savings after paying all my other bills. Having two incomes make it easier. I had posted once about my husband making six figures. I was vague because I didn't want to sound like I was bragging and one poster told me that making 100k wasn't anything special and that even when he was a kid it was normal to make that much. To me that is a lot and most people I know make less than that. My husband is the only person I know in my circle of friends that makes that much. Even between my siblings, the only person I've known IRL making that much was my dad before he retired. 
In graduate school I made less than $24,000 a year. We were routinely told, don't worry, you'll make six figures once you graduate. Hint, I do not. None of my graduating class does either as far as I know. But we're reminded of the cost of our degree every month still. Yay! Laughs in $16,000 per year. Post pedantic edit. Laughs in less than $16,000 per year. Post current calculation. Laughs in less than $19,326 per year. I make 135k working in healthcare. But it's a high cost of living area. So yes. People do make more than that. But where you live factors into whether you're living comfortably. I make 20k if I am lucky as a mechanic. I'm 49 and I've never made more than 47k. So, no. I make just above 35k. By just above I mean like 35.2k. I'm at 120k. But my 60 year old. 1900 SQFT house cost me 800k. Cheapest house on the market at the time. So my money doesn't go very far because cost of living is insane. Nope. My best year was 25k. Depressing comment section sad face. I think it may be because the people who make that sort of money are more vocal about it than those. On the opposite side of the scale. So the sentiment is heavily and falsely skewed. Not even close. People sure like to say they make that much under the anonymity of Reddit. But who knows how true it is. When it is true, you're likely looking at selection bias. People are a lot quicker to announce a six-figure salary than a $9 per hour wage if you catch my drift. Basically, most people don't make that much. But you also don't hear from them as often. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.